I remember thinking she's the one for me And she can have anything that she want from me Little snake in the grass, shaking her ass And then taking the cash and making a dash of friends And I might have burned on a bird, but your boy was young Stumbling down the old chief from which your knees work. Next morning, the hotel service discovers your t shirt, starting a trail of other garments, ending with this obscene perv wrapped around a petite girl wearing the preteen skirt and all the sheet sperm. I know for people like you, this is the pedo Philippines, but geez, dirt. <laughs> Funny streak of undeserved W's Bathe in all the money you will be making off the hundreds upon hundreds of views Yeah! And you yeah. want And you want an exotic underage honey too? <laughs> Fuck that! Despite all our cultures, cuts and bruises The country proves hospitable And I'm no Uncle Scrooge but I'll be a hungry Jew Before you or Lucky Loosh Or ever let running loose hunting cooch Never a sucker for subterfuge No matter what you do I will not approve <laughs> Yo, 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 what, you think we're clueless? You must be downright deluded into thinking that beard would fool us into forgetting your rape case in Subic. Plus, if I let them arms go, you're gonna need like six doctors. <laughs> Back home, they're gonna be like, damn, Dan, you must have felt like Van Damme versus Tong Po and Kickboxer. <laughs> it's another Mexican versus a Filipino. But that comparison is as far as we go. Cause you don't got hands like Manny do, man, and I ain't no damn margarito. Whoa. Plus, I got that pop jab and I throw that hook great. Right. You should have seen him on Skype with that shook face when I told him I needed a blood test two hours before the battle took place. <laughs> Mayweather. Why? When it comes to this rap shit, I'm way better. This battle rap 
fanboy would pay Cheddar to have his braids tethered to look like Swave Severs. Whoa! Plus, how you think he makes Cheddar? He takes pleasure measuring dick, and he don't use a tape measure when measuring shit. He can tell the shape better just by pleasuring it. <laughs> so, I guess the only question is, which gay clothing store did you and your homies rob? Ong bak looking motherfucker. Need to get a Tony job. Before you start throwing them knees and rocking them bows, one punch line I drop will be stopping the show. Oh, and my Filipino homies back home told me to tell you, Punta Ginamo! Yeah. Round two, Anagma, it's on you. Everyone shut the fuck up! Yo! Yo! Yo, all right. I need not be nationalistic to manhandle this bitch tits, but I am Pinoy, so I know you manage to diss this. But you really think you can insult Filipinos in your verses when anyone you love or know that's terminally hurting is serviced by at least one of our nurses? Whoa! and that they won't feel the urge to pull the plug on purpose. Any relatives of future children ain't safe too if an OFW may choose us to raise them to hate you. Whoa. And you want people to buy your disc? Fuck, we got any and all appliances for that shit to be pirated and you wouldn't even get the slightest tip. <laughs> And even if you can pass for a Trojan, you still won't be a viral hit. Oh. And this here is 22 years of living through corruption. Daily inhaling of the smoke on our already dusty roads. The motherland's been raped by Spanish brats, Manic Japs, and Uncle Sam. But that's not even half of what she wrote. Ooh. This is the race war. But as you can see, the wolf man has his sheep's clothes. And the tap water I drink that even leaves my friend sick hasn't killed me. So your dirty flow sure won't. Oh! Yo, let's properly. And if you're is a questioning my races, this is the truth, Filipino pride. <laughs> there is not a need in a subject verb agreeing, but the purpose is I still <laughs> Wait, wait. Wait, wait, you know. <laughs> you know, you know, this is easy bites for me. Nowhere is there going to be a Pacquiao punchline. <laughs> Especially because I am using beating you with the Pacquiao English. Real talk. The whole time you were rapping, all I wanted to say is, I think you're the gayest. And fuck you, Ernie Reyes. <laughs> Plus, you look like Bruno Mars. Wait, you're even more of a bitch than he is. Plus, you probably tuck your penis. We're gonna have to call you Bruno Venus. It's too bad, it's too bad your punchlines are all on that filler shit, because I know you can moonwalk and do a killer splits. Truly, I ain't seen iller shit than you and your boys doing that prison thriller shit. I've been meaning to ask you. I heard you got a full back tattoo of Michael Jackson turning into a black cat. Is that true? Must have been all of that damn shabu. No! One advantage for a cat like you is you never gotta worry about choking. I mean, I've seen him out front of the hotel showing all the male tourists how wide he can get his mouth open. But don't let the long hair and makeup trick you. This lady boy's got a dick. With that kind of game, you should change your name from Enigma to Shocking Twist. I mean, an Enigma, that's a puzzle, right? Well, you sure look like the puzzle type. Guy by day, gal by night, troubled by his double life. Look on the bright side, dig this. A battle with Dan is some big shit, but I ain't referring to my skateboard days when I say that I'm gonna kick flip.
I hope you don't kill me after this verse, but... <laughs> you always seem to be prepared with Jesus references, so let's peep those comparisons. Jesus, right? We got the avowed greatest, historically painted Caucasian, adopted by this cow rapist, but when a sound brain thinks, it's pretty easy to see the difference between a real MC and someone who leans on gimmicks. A piece of fiction, of a piece of fiction, of a piece of fiction. And you can spin, correctly guessing, he's a Christian, he's a Christian, he's a Christian. <laughs> You can have all my fans, especially the Catholic brand, who will still see who's winning. <laughs> Muslims, you won't be spared, because even to them, you're still the equivalent of a soon-to-be-sacked heathen village because of medieval visions. All the homies who truly know me keep on thinking, will Enigma be this trick with his thesis given his opponent as only the teens his resemblance to Eric's Jesus' best friend? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm a mega shark patrolling a sea of ignorance and a sea it's so sickening But my ideologies are persistent And to me, you're all just a bunch of goddamn theist bitches With weak convictions who need religion to feel existent Going up against Dan is an easy scrimmage Compared to my secret mission of pipe pipe teens and children Reminding them of their fleeting business That their lives need to be re-envisioned So much that the delirious cringing makes them devolve and reawaken as fetuses blinking. And see, and see, I can diss my nation's creeds and systems and not feel the least bit guilted and still spit it with more steeds than your rigid freaking rhythm. I'm famous like I shot movies, hang around with stars and got groupies. So to them, the real enigma is why would I battle you and not Looney? It could have been Dello or Zyto or Target or something else. I mean, Protege, Silencer, Fuego, nothing else. Look, there's no use in lying, okay? What me and Enigma are trying to say is, I represent the Make-A-Wish Foundation and he's dying of AIDS. It was, it was his final wish to collide with the greats, and who am I to deny him that? So please, show respect for his dying ass, and when he says a punchline, just try and laugh. This motherfucker's got like 15 jobs, plus he's going to school to be a Tai Chi master. During the day, during the day he drives a cab, and at night he's a private dancer. He works at teleperformance, listening to Americans complain about their cell phones giving them cancer. And whether, and whether, and whether a man or woman answers the phone, he says, hello, ma'am, sir. with green bills. That's how you know they're the real thing. You bought them shits at Green Hills and when they get wet, they turn your heels green. <laughs> Plus that draw up blow is the real thing. You'd suck a dick for two grams. Shit, I heard you even blew the balut man for two cans of new spam. <laughs> I'm the master of this fucking game that we play. So this rookie better watch the things that he say. Cause when it comes to this battle rap shit, Call me Kuya, see gay? Hey yo, that was a sick ass battle, man. And uh, I need to say this, man. Sometimes it's not all about the jokes. Dirtbag came with hella jokes, but then Enigma came with more reasons why you should win. Mm. So, Enigma, dude, all three rounds. Yeah. Fuck, man. <laughs> All right. Crazy battle, man. Shout outs to Grind Time. This is Flip Top, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Enigma brought his game. This is the first time I've seen him battle and Dirtbag Dan at the same time, man. Like, I give the first round to uh, Dirtbag Dan and then second round to Enigma. The third round should have been a tie, but I really got to pick somebody. So I'm going to go with the real shit. I'm going to go with Enigma.
Malaysian representing Philippines. Yeah, you know me. Um, the first round, I gotta give it to Dirtbag Dan, of course. But the way Enigma spit that shit the second round, if you fucking holy, goddammit, I swear. Oh, this is so hard, but I'm gonna have to give it to Enigma. I told these motherfuckers, man, it's gonna be a fucking battle, you know what I'm saying? She was super duper fucking hot, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking no motherfucking sides. She was a fucking great battle. I still wanna do a track tomorrow with Dirt back then. This is my nigga, he fucking killed it. But just like everybody thought, Enigma fucking gonna kill shit, ah. Uh. I'm gonna give it to Enigma too, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to say, like, both of them, like, went hard, like, but in every round, Enigma would always just, like, edge it out. Just a little, little bit. Everyone was just, like, Dirt was like fucking crazy with it, with the punchlines and all that shit, but Enigma with the truth, all that real shit, and all that fucking mind melting flow shit, etched it out a little bit, and all rounds go to him for that. So, I'm gonna go for Enigma. Judge, I've decided this is it, man. Uh, this battle goes to. Dirt and all the judges, because I'm gonna die tomorrow, so thanks for granting my wish, yo. Yeah. Hey, hey, I still fucking love you, Manila. We all good. Come on. <laughs>